<laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can you jump down there? Go ahead. Ooh. All right. All right, we are off. Whew. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am out in the boat with first mate Pee Poop McToots and uh, my brother and my father. And we have just embarked on a seven night wilderness adventure. We are looking to set up camp where we're kind of going to take it a little more easy and focus on the fishing. For the first time ever on this channel, for the first time ever, I'm gonna use some live bait. That's right, we have brought leeches. We want to catch many fish and cook them up deliciously. We've got a good dinner plan for tonight and uh, we plan on having some fun. It's both my brother's and my dad's first time being out here and they haven't done a trip like this in quite some time, if ever. I'm not quite sure, but we're looking to have a whole lot of fun. We did run into some people at the put in there and uh, sounds like there may not be many sites for quite a way. So we might, we already did an eight hour drive and we might have quite a ways to go today. We have no idea, but we are taking the first available camps that we find. Today it's a beautiful blue skies day. And uh, yeah, we've got to move quite a ways. I'd like if there was a campsite, we're just taking the first one because then we can do some fishing. My brother here is using the old iron, iron tanker. <laughs> My dad's up there using Funk's boat, and uh, yeah, Josh is using the old tin can we had laying around. You'll notice that uh, I'm not wearing my brand new life vest, and well, my dad claimed ownership of that. He has commandeered it. I will also note that it is Father's Day weekend, so it is, it is Friday, it is pretty busy. So this is like a, a Father's Day, father's son's trip. How, yeah, oh yeah, this is a breeze. A little bit more paddling, we've got our first portage of the trip. Let's take care of it. Okay, that portage took us <laughs> um I think an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, the reason it's taking so long is my dad is getting the Father's Day King Michael royal treatment. His two sons are taking care of him like his like his little royal jockeys and uh, we're we're carrying the boat and most of the bags and you know making it nice and easy because he had a, a knee replacement not too long ago so we're definitely I mean he wants to take more weight but we're just like you know what no I don't want to no injuries we're so we're playing it safe and we're doing most of the work
Looking like the other, both campsites on this one are taken, so onward we go. <laughs> Monty, that's Josh. That's brother Joshua. Monty, you stupid We've got a, we've got a uh, frisky Monty here. Seeing some water. Come on, baby boo boo. Baby boo boo? Yeah, I was calling him baby boo boo and doo doo da da. <laughs> yeah. He was looking at me like, okay. Okay. He stood there and laid down. <laughs> Move one out. Move one. Okay. <laughs> I got the two struggling. You guys know what this tree is right here? Dad, you know what this tree is right here? Huh? Do you know what this tree is right here? What? Last year, this spring, about this time, I had a 72 and a half inch pike on right here near this tree. 72 and a half inch? 72 and a half inch. I couldn't really see it, but I just knew that's how big it was. And a half. Wow. 72 and a half. You should have took a picture. Yeah, I mean, if I caught that 72 and 5 eighths inch pike, I'd have been so happy. Well, right? I'm gonna try for a 72. I don't think you can top my 70, my my monster. It was it was it was a definite world record. I don't get it. It's a pike of legend. Should I take a couple oh. casts, Matt? No, let's get a campsite. We'll come back. Yeah, D Disappointment Lake is living up to its name. <laughs> Uh-oh. We gotta keep pressing onward. It's looking like... <laughs> we are gonna be paddling into the night. Hey, we didn't get too late of a start today. I, I forgot to say, I we, we got an early start today. I know it's crazy sounding, but it was. We got out the door like 6.30 a.m. And uh, it's just taken. We're gonna have a late finish, not a late start though. Okay, we were supposed to be out the door at six, but we got out by like six forty-five. So uh, still a hair of a late start, more than what I wanted. But either way, we gotta keep moving. We gotta keep trucking. Monty just let out a wet part. Monty, how could you? As the first mate, you should not be letting out wet parts. The look on his face is, I don't care. I just, I just don't care. How you doing there? Fine. You enjoying your first night in the boundary waters? Oh, I'm just delighted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we make it through this, we'll be able to do whatever. Right <laughs> That's pretty sick. Ooh. Oh, you might even go. Yeah. So unfortunately. We are stuck doing what I was not expecting to have to take these guys through on their first night out here, and that is paddling into the night. We are gonna be arriving at camp at dark. They're getting a little taste of what I actually do. This is just normal for me. This is totally, 
totally normal for me. Well, you go ahead and just do it. <laughs> well, you got no choice tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we've got, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, probably five more portages. Two are super teeny. Um, the other ones are not crazy big, but it's still gonna take time. And we're still getting to camp in the dark. So we're lucky and fortunate that it's a very calm evening. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of recording here. We're just gonna cruise on through to camp and maybe if we're quiet, we'll see a moose. You guys hear that bird? What? That bird? It's a bird. I've just learned it's a white-throated sparrow. You told us that last course. Well, I didn't say it on camera. I know you can't see anything. Yeah, it's a beaver. Oh, beaver, please. <laughs> yep, it's dark. <laughs> the mosquitoes are insane. And we are still trucking along. We've got three more portages. Two are teeny tiny. And one's another eighth of a mile portage. A little bit more than that. We're just trucking along. That's a good boy, Monty. <laughs> one more, maybe two more to go. <sighs> Could be just one more though, we'll see. All right, we just completed that portage. We're gonna look for a campsite, but right when I got here, a moth flew in my ear and went right into my eardrum and I could not get it out. We we're taking a Q-tip and trying to dig it out. My brother take, took saline solution. And it took like five minutes, but eventually just like squirted it in and got the dang thing out. It was just, that was, oh God, I couldn't hear anything. It was like driving me nuts. Long. Yeah, it was a long one. It was a big moth. Anyways, also my dad's boat floated over there. I don't know if you can see it. I think we all need to take a minute to appreciate the guy that's done the most work. And that of course is Monty. He is uh, pretty pooped from all the work he's done. Being the first mate isn't easy. Good job, people. It's big dudes. You got big old Steve going for a swim. Oh, he's gonna come hang out in my boat. That's a big spider. I mean, look at my thumb compared to that guy. I got big, thick thumbs. That guy's huge. Hey, guys. What? Campsites do exist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we did it. Is it a nice one? It's the nicest one we're getting today. It is the perfect campsite, let me tell you. Perfect in every way. It's got a fire grate, and it's got spots to set up your tent. It's just grade A. If you want, we can keep searching. Sure. All right, we are just setting up here. These guys got their tent set up over here. Josh is airing out his feet. We are pretty pooped. I strategically placed my tent far over here because they are going to be snoring very loudly and I don't want any part of that. I'll probably snore too, but Monty here, he has not moved. He is out. I mean, look, oh, we got a little reaction. Hey, Monty. Hey there, guy. He is so tired. He's done lots of swimming, hanging out in the boat. I mean, look at that overbite. He's got he's to deal with that every day of his life. He can never close his mouth. 
so he's pretty pooped but anyways I'm not recording much I'm just I'm setting up over here and then I think we're gonna get to firewood and we've got we've got a dinner to cook and we have no choice even though the choice is that we want to eat it so yeah we're I think we're still making a good one tonight okay so we are all set up it is very late we we're having a late dinner, but we are very hungry and we have been go, go, go. So, I'm going to duct tape my toe. None of us care. He's about to duct tape his toe. Well, it's got, it's got problems. It's got, it's got problems. So we're just processing up some firewood here. And then we're going to light up a fire. These, these tough guys here want to see if they can do the legendary one strike I'm going to try it tonight. He I'll thinks he can do it. Tomorrow. Huh? I'll probably try tomorrow. You try tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, unless he can't get it, then I'll try. <laughs> what are we having for dinner? Asparagus, red skin potatoes, and ribeye steaks. Oh, yeah. And we deserve it because we paddled for miles and miles and miles. <laughs> oh, we lost one. That one goes to the wolves. Dad, you got a mosquito right on the tip of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can still hear the loons. I can't, I can't see the white onion chopping, Dad. It's, there we go. Let's close up the white onion. Be careful with that knife, you're scaring me. There we go. And I turned my sons on to this a long time ago. <laughs> what is it? Montreal. Are you sure I didn't show you? Uh, no, I bought this by the case. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Just like a little bit on the, little bit on our asparagus, and then we'll save some for the steaks. <laughs> Go for it. Ooh, two. Ooh. Getting close. I'm hitting my knuckle on this rock. Oh, you gotta give it a good solid stroke. Oh, got it. <laughs> what was that, four? Four, not I think bad. so. Not, not bad. Too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, we gotta get Never it. Never tried that before. Yeah, clean that. Did your first fire seal? <laughs> yeah. You had a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do it in one. Maybe I'll try tomorrow. You could do it in one. I'll try. I almost. I could have, maybe. Off the well, you guys spent takes many practice. years takes a little practice. chasing the legendary one strike fire. The big question is though, who's gonna catch the first fish? Well, I had one on, but uh, I didn't catch it. Yeah, that's that doesn't count. That sounds like you, you could. That first. sounds like a fishing story. To no, me. it was not a fishing story. <laughs> I don't lie well, about who's, fish. Who's, about cast, though, the first who's like catching the cast. first? What? Oh well. It's like, we no, who the catches the first? I gotta restring my poles because it snapped in the damn truck. Oh no! Yeah. How? Who and, catches uh, the, the whole, first decent fish? Not a little tiny little. No, first fish is like a prestigious. All right. Who catches the biggest fish? That's good. I be. know, but the first fish you get to brag like you get to throw it in everyone's faces. You got the first mm -hmm. one. I should have had that one. I would have showed it to you. It hurts not fishing near all those down trees. Oh, I know. It just I was <laughs> sickening. It was driving making by me him. sick. <laughs> it was to me. He's just saying he has a bad experience with it because the last time we went camping is when that happened. Yes. I when was this? dropped it twice. <laughs> I we brought out big ribeyes. We were at where we usually go and uh uh I had the two steaks and like I took mine off. It was all perfectly cooked and seasoned and just beautiful. Oh, he did it, right? Yeah. That's what we're saying. Oh, yeah. I did. And then I, 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 I took it I off did. the fire and then Josh, as I went to move his off the fire, and I dropped it right into the <laughs> ash. It got completely coated. And then I like, instead of doing the right thing and giving him mine, I just handed him his steak. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. All right, let's get these potatoes going. It's, no, I mean like I got energy because we're about to feast in a little bit here. But we're gonna sleep hard. Yeah, I'm gonna pass out after I eat. Oh yeah. Here. This one's yours, Dad. Okay. Mm. 
light. Yeah. Just so they don't stick. <laughs> oh. Yeah, take take a good portion. It's like a feast for all mankind. That's that's a pretty good description. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's eat. Here you go, Monty. <laughs> Do you want steak, Monty? Monty. 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 It's your sniffer, Monty. You want some of this steak and some of this fat? Yeah, you've been a good boy all day today. Mm. He just woke up from a nap. I think he thinks he's dreaming right now. <laughs> okay. That's enough steak for Monty tonight. We don't want to start him off. He's going to be eating fish on this trip and all sorts of things. Ah, a little bit of steak. A little bit more steak, Monty. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Monty. Here you go. There you go. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, oh now I'm glad we had him tonight. <laughs> yeah. There was a moment there when I was just like thinking about know. it when we were working. I was like, I don't know if this is going to happen. Right, I'm going to, for the first time ever, I'm going to eat my steak with a fork and knife out I'm here. I just, I just felt like it. I don't know why. I'm going straight caveman. Caveman? That's what I know. Barbaric. That's, yeah. the, that's usually the best way. Mm. Mm. I just like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just got a really sharp knife. I just, <laughs> I I'm, just huh? I'm just so tired. I can't make proper decisions. Mm. Nope. <laughs> so I guess I must admit one last thing before I go to bed. This is by far the, like, like I said, I'm tired. This is the mm. latest dinner Look I've ever had. That. The sun's coming up. Well, it's, it's not coming up for a while, but it's first light out there. We thought it was like maybe northern lights, but no, it's no. that late. Yeah. I think this is a first. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. This is this is fine. I don't think we're going to be getting up too early tomorrow. No. You guys want to go morning fishing? Oh, let's go right now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's when you have you to could leave. say we're gonna get a late start tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. You know, I don't wake up and see enough sunrises. Uh, it's taking too long, mind you. Let's go to bed. Come on, Monty. Come here. Here we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you the last time I've stayed up this late. This is an interesting start to a trip. So, uh, I've got the rain fly off. I'm going to pass out to the sunrise <laughs> and the sound of these birds. So, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. sweltering in here. I already let Monty out hours ago. He's just laying around somewhere. Um, it's like the noon. 
it, it is so hot in here, even with the rain fly off. I can't take it. I need to get up. Let's do it. Oh, it's a hot one today. Ooh. Ooh. There's a down tree over here. I need to make my first cast. So those guys are still sleeping. Um, we're going to make a big old breakfast today. And uh, it's pretty warm out. And we brought this teeny little soft cooler. We brought it everything frozen and one of the parts of it I had to put under a rock under the water here a little bit ago. Alright. The Des Walker on his undies. Crocs, socks, and underwear. There you go. <laughs> okay, well we're going to start working on breakfast. At least I am. Um, Huh? You're gonna eat a full meal right now? Yeah, we've got to or that stuff's gonna go bad. I put the eggs under a rock in the water, but it's still gonna get warm and nasty. We've gotta eat for the sake of, of not spoiling our food. Okay, so in my last video, if you watched it, I went out with Captain Teeny Trout and he tried, he was using the jet boil and I've been using my alcohol stove forever, but I decided to get the jet boil because I learned I used a whole container of fuel and he used one of these that was already used for the whole trip and that is so much weight I didn't realize how inefficient my stove was so I am making the switch and we're gonna try this thing out for the first time ever the biggest thing is just the weight on fuel I didn't realize how inefficient my little alcohol burning stove was so I want to try this guy Oh, and it starts like that. Oh, oh it's already sizzling. Up for a cup of coffee. I'm going to try using this thing as my mug today. See how it goes. I don't know if this will just float around there, my little mug mate. But anyways, it's faster. I'm not worried about the speed. It's just the biggest thing for me is the fuel efficiency and saving the weight. If I can get away with like one of these canisters for a week or something like that, that would be awesome. And I was going to get out my windscreen. It took a little longer than probably it should. Just because it's in the windy spot, but let's see how this goes. This is my dad's coffee. Alright, I'm going to just take this thing and just kind of dip it in here and see if it'll just stay. And maybe use this as my new mug and then I can drink more coffee in the morning. Is it easy to snap it off there? Yeah. I just need to see if I can get this to stay without floating and tipping over. Oh, there we go. Hey, it works. Okay. Let's just cut up a couple things. Of course, the white onion. little diced up potatoes. Make them small today so they cook good. Graham cracker and marshmallow. Oh, that'd be so awesome. I, I did it last time. It oh yeah. It was better than expected. It always is. S'mores are so good. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. That, that, that's good. That's good? We'll see how it cooks. This is, big, this is the real test of this thing. Can it cook? You have to balance that pretty 
you're gonna have to watch what you're doing, man. It looks pretty tippy. <laughs> We got enough butter in so that when we make our nice poops, we got plenty of lube. We might even give a little bit of bacon and eggs to the old monster. Yeah. Oh, it all fit. Look at that. You guys ready to eat 14 eggs? Yeah. Oh. Oh man. Ooh. Oh yeah, scrambled eggs almost done. Ooh, that's hot. It's almost there. Oh yeah. Oh look at that bacon. Crispy delicious bacon. Everything's done. Looks pretty even here. This one's got the most potatoes. Alright. Breakfast is served. Is that too much? Do you want a breakfast treat? A breakfast treat? You look like you're about to eat mine. If I give you the go ahead, I think you're gonna go for that one, so I don't trust you. Ready? Okay, go ahead, good boy. Oh, burn myself. That is a brew. <laughs> you got that. He's got a brew. <laughs> walrus. <laughs> Straight walrus. Yeah. Oh, no, don't scratch me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, this is warm. Hi, Monty. Hi. Hi, Monty. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, we are refreshed full of food, full of energy, wonderful, you know, morning of sleep, good meal, oh, ready to catch some fish. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a different trip than I normally do because I had planned on taking it easy on these guys, you know? I wanted to have a nice just fishing trip. <laughs> Last night was a bit more of the normal stuff that I do, <laughs> late starts and all, but uh, yeah, it's gonna make the trip better in the end. So it was a good experience. But now, um, this trip is more about just relaxing and fishing. So it's gonna be, you know, I'll do a lot less recording because we're gonna do a lot of chilling around at camp like we've been, I mean, it's already 3.30 and we're just now getting on the water. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go try to catch some fish. And uh, we're gonna set up, I think we're gonna go tomorrow and we're gonna set up a base camp somewhere uh, at the next lake. And then we're just gonna adventure out from there, fish, check out different lakes and that's how we're gonna run this one see now normally i don't bring live bait like this and my dad said he wanted to bring leeches and uh, I was like, I don't know, can you keep him alive? And like, he's like, yeah, he's got this little container and I guess he has no problem. And so far, yeah, they've been doing great. And maybe if we start slaying fish here, I will do this again. Cause I know live bait works really well. 
Oh, another thing I want to say is last trip I used a bait caster with my slip bobber and that was a nightmare. So I brought out the old open face as my designated slip bobber pole. It just kept getting rat's nest after rat's nest. Really? What was it? Maybe I need to go out and down a little bit more here. My brother wants to go fish his channel, and at the end of the channel, it looks like into the other lake, there might be rushing water on this side. So I'm thinking we should all go head there and try for that rushing water, because there's usually always fish there. Oh, there we go. It's panfish, though. There's some kind of panfish here. I think it's the gills. I would, yeah, go for it. You can cast here. Yeah, don't worry about casting near me. I don't care. See, there's another... I'm getting all sorts of panfish nibbles. Try a, try a smaller hook. I don't want a panfish. <laughs> I want you a big know, fish. Be too, just if you guys are like across the lake or something, you catch a big fish, you have to do the international fish call. Or the international I got a fish call. What's that? <laughs> Give me your best fish call. That's pretty good. <laughs> that, that'll work. I troll it'll work. Oh, there we go. That one? Yep. Oh. <gasps> yes! Walleye! What you catching on? Slip bobber right near this log. <laughs> oh, shoulda, coulda, woulda, my friend. <laughs> Um, just a few feet, uh, like four, four or five feet, right under the log. Oh yeah. Hey, you guys, do you need you? Do you? Do I need to teach you guys how to catch fish? Screw you. <laughs> it always feels good to be the first one to catch a fish. Well, you want to look at that beautiful fish. Oh yeah, nice walleye right off the bat. Okie dokie. The people have spoken. We are going for a walleye fish dinner tonight since we know there's walleye here and apparently they're biting because I got one. He just had a fish on and he just had a fish on right where I just caught one. So I think we might have found the ticket um, where they're hiding out in this channel here. So we are going to go for a fish dinner. Oh, nice. You got a pike. This is my favorite place to fish, rushing water, and there's walleye here. I just don't understand how I'm not catching a fish right now. In a, in a tree? Whatever it is, it's pretty big. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. Looks like it's a snag. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Well, I hope it is. That'd be awesome. It's a pike. Ah. Nice fish. Okay, we're all still pretty pooped from yesterday, so I think we're just going to make our way back to camp and just do some chillaxing for a bit. We're just chilling out of the camp since we came back. Got Josh over there, my dad's behind me. I got the hammock set up, I brought it out. And right now I'm kinda glad I did. Only reason I brought it out is because we're doing a little more chilling. I got a big cup of tea, and Monty's over there. And yeah, we just had some rain going on, so we got the tarp set up. 
Just a beaut, beaut of a view. What do you guys think of this place so far? Awesome. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. What do you guys think about night paddling? Not so awesome. <laughs> amazing. I like it. Yeah, it was mystical. <laughs> Look at those clouds up there. Yeah. Oh, that looks like those bubbly... Momentous? Yeah, the ones that have storms. Yeah, that looks stormy. <laughs> Whoa. Too. So you don't think you're getting out there fishing, Dad? Not tonight. Josh, are you? Yeah. I'm gonna go out night fishing. I mean, this is just, if you could, if you wanted to pick the perfect conditions for a night fish on a walleye lake, uh -huh. this, this would be it. Mm -hmm. Right after the rain? Yeah, light rain, cloudy, nice and warm. Monty, it just doesn't have a worry in the world. Nope. Me and my dad are back in the boat. Oh, no, what? What? I am back in the boat by myself. My dad and Monty are hanging out at camp. Uh, Josh is gonna head out. Yeah, you can see my dad hanging out on that rock there. And uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do is uh, we're going for the evening fish. We're trying for some more walleye. I've got the only walleye. We had a little pike. We had our sub in there. It was kind of going after it. But I'm gonna start by trolling the shoreline with the chartreuse slayer i'm gonna go around and just see if i can pick anything up that way kind of scout it out and then i think i'm gonna slip bobber my way back and then there's a little channel where i caught the walleye um i think i am going to cast down that with slip bobbers once it gets a little darker Oh, beaver, please. I've decided I want to just do slip hours and leeches. I can't handle it. There's too many nice dead trees. Oh man, he took it pretty, pretty fast. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. All right, look at that beauty. <laughs> That's a good fish. Perfect eater. That's going on the stringer. I think we're going to be having a fish dinner tonight. Hey, what's up? How you like this? What? How you like this? <laughs> right here okay so it is kind of deep here and what that walleye did is he bit it when it was going down and that's why i thought it was touching bottom is because a walleye just grabbed it so i'm gonna go a little deeper try that out what's up I'm trying to catch some walleye pretty you, jealous you hear that bird that's echoey sounding yeah. yeah. You know what that bird is? No. It's a Ron Swainson's thrush. Say that again? Ron Swainson's thrush. Oh, okay. <laughs> I bet in that, can that canal, I bet they're just lurking. Because the we water's moving there. Yeah, we should just, we should head back that way. I'm just going to try off this point real quick. There's like a rock out. Man, 
Sometimes I swear I've got a tick on my balls. <laughs> I just had a bite, but I think it was bluegill again. Oh, oh, you did. Oh, I see. There we go. Josh, I got something. Yes! Yeah! Another one. Another walleye for the fish fry. Yeah, we're having a fish fry tonight. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, the mosquitoes are insane right now. We are gonna make our way back. They're getting so bad. I'm just gonna troll. Yeah. Just bring it oh, in? Yeah. Ooh. You got a fish. Something. It's gonna be a walleye. Coming over. Oh yeah, it's a walleye. You can see it? I can see his eyes. Yes! <laughs> good job. <laughs> yeah. All right, good job. Let me hold this beast up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There we go, that's a nice <laughs> walleye. Looking good. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, we're having food tonight. High five. <laughs> All right, successful day of walleye fishing. Woo! <laughs> I think we're having a fish fry tonight. He caught one from camp. How big was yours? 11, 12 inches. <laughs> <laughs> a teeny guy. So uh, we've got my dad playing the fish, and uh, me and Josh are uh, processing up firewood, getting that going. And then once this is all processed up and we got that fire ripping, we are gonna get a fish fry going. I've gotten three walleye, which is, this is the first time I've ever gotten three walleye, and that's the only fish I've caught, and it's never happened out here. And is that normal? Like, huh? We, we were pretty much skunked all day. Yeah. And we thought there was really no fish in this lake, and then, well, now we know what's in this lake. Yeah, <laughs> a bunch of, bunch of walleye. Yeah, that's a ripping fire now. Yeah, Monty's, holy crap. He's <laughs> just, oh, are you serious? Sure <laughs> Wait, fuzzball. Monty. He's breathing. He just, I don't know. <laughs> he always does this. He's, I, he's dead dogging it, is what I call it. Where he just looks like a dead dog. But, yeah, yeah. Monty. Oh, okay, you're alive. We just had to make sure you weren't moving much. <laughs> he's like, here, yeah, guys. I'm trying to just, I was dreaming. I was dreaming that I was eating a good fish dinner. Well, that's going to be a reality, buddy.
Monty. Monty. Are you still there? Here's what you gotta try. The only way to, the only thing that works. Say, do you want a T R E A T? Do you want a treat? Uh oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's alive. The Monty is okay, people. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have a big old fish fry. We got four walleye between three hungry posas. So basically we have no fish, is what I'm trying to say. Not enough food. My dad always made us big home cooked meals when we were kids and you always had to eat as much as fast as possible. That was always the goal. That's why I am the way that I am. But you always, you taught us to eat it really fast. No I did not. <laughs> you did. You just did that. Nah. -uh. I'm pretty sure. I never taught you to eat fast. What? Monty gets, ooh, that's, remember last time he got, all right, no one is to give Monty fried fish. That's plenty for Monty. It's three nice pieces of fish. He's gonna be all right. I just don't want him to get sick. Last time. A little better of that fish. It is time. Oops. For a fish fry. We're just gonna go with the bare minimum oil. And add it as need be, because we're gonna go through this. So we've all got our mashed potatoes. We're all having baby redskin mashed potatoes. They've got theirs already ready. Monty's is cooking. I think my water's, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mine's ready, I gotta get my mashed potatoes out. Oh, I... Be careful eating those. Piping hot. They stay hot for so long. I just got a bunch of crap in his mouth. I think Monty's? Yeah, he's just like, it's like, just got all in his mouth. Mmm. 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 I forgot to put lemon on mine. Oh, thank you, thank you. I really don't like, feel like I was that hungry, but then when I started eating, I'm like, oh, food. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's your food. Oh. Let me just make sure. What was that drool, Monty? Okay, go ahead. Good boy. Oh, Monty, that's so much crap in your tail. 
I'm doing my stuff. My tea. How is this supposed to work? Hmm? This is this is unreasonable, Monty. Okay, Monty. Oh, okay, well, we just devoured our fish. It was a delicious fish fry. We got four walleye. Well, five combined. Um, yeah, Josh is in the lead for the biggest two fish. I think I've got most. Maybe. No. No. Tied. Anyways. I'm satisfied. I'm tired. I think we're moving caps tomorrow. So I'm going to pass out now. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Oh, good morning, Monty. Monty's been outside for a few hours, and he's just... Chilling under the tarp in the shade. Hey, Monty. Yeah, because it was too hot in there and you asked to get outside. Did you good boy? Yeah. Good boy. You getting a Monty? Hi, Monty. Oh, there's a good boy. Oh. Oh, I was sweating like a pig this morning. Yeah. That was nasty. I had to get out of the tent as soon as possible. Monty asked me to get out four hours ago and I let him out. Do I look like red or not really? No. Monty, you're so spy. You get out? Anyways, we're going to try moving camps today, so uh, we're going to start packing up here, and I'm going to queue up some breakfast and coffee, coffee and oatmeal sequence, the new, the new version with the new stove. Let's see how it goes. Go! Soupy. Oh, you like it soupy? Oh, I like it soupy. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Mm. So soupy. So good. Try just drinking it, Dad. Embrace the soupy oatmeal. Mm. Well, we're just gonna finish packing up here. Get on that water and get to paddling. Portage, which is very small and fishing. And we are off. 
Okie dokies. So the plan for the day is to just go over one teeny tiny teeny weeny little doesn't even really count portage and head over to the next lake and find a nice site. My father has requested that we have a site that uh, shows the sunset. So that's what we're gonna shoot for. It's looking rather ominous behind us. I think today was the day that kind of called for a little rain, but uh, you never know it's the weather. It definitely looks like it's at least scattered. There's storm clouds everywhere. There's blue skies in between. But that, that right there, looks a little stormy. So we shall see. You got these nice blue skies. Then you turn and you got that back there. <laughs> They'd probably love sunshine every day, but is it bad that I'm secretly hoping we get a thunderstorm? <laughs> I love my rain, rainy days and storms. Ooh, that looks like that could be a whole lot of fun. Oh man. I do not hope that we have to set up in it. I'm not hoping for that. I'm just hoping that when we are set up, we get the tarps all set up and everything, we just get dumped on. Gotta make a move to a Monty the Monty, 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 Gotta be a stinky, 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 stinky Monty, 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 We'll save you from that evil water. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's a poncho monty right there. Not for poppy. I think we got lucky and the storm is just passing by us. It's like, it looks like it was downpouring over there. And it is rough looking up there. But if you look behind us, what do you see? Blue skies. Blue skies. It's gonna get sunny. Skies are blue. How the rain. Oh, 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 oh. And I think to myself. What a wonderful world. The rain just stopped and it got completely calm. You can hear a Ron Swainson's thrush over there. What? Ron Swainson's thrush. That bird? Ron Swainson. Does it sound like someone you know? It just sounds like a name. Though. Sounds like it. Oh, did you see that? Straight in front of you, a bolt of lightning. Well, I might as well get. 
get to line going, putting on a watermelon three quarter ounce spoon. There's Lakers in here, there's some Larry's. Might as well troll while we're on the little campsite. All right, got a nice camp spot here. Got my dad walking around in his underpants. Soaking in the wilderness, Josh walking around in his underpants. <laughs> We've got this bluff up here. I think we're gonna make it up there and uh, cook dinner up there tonight. Watch the sunset, hopefully we get a nice sunset. But yeah, we're going to get set up here, eat some food and then maybe get out fishing, who knows? My dad has fully succumbed to the wilderness. Starfishing, Patrick. <laughs> How you doing, Dad? Hi. Enjoying yourself? Mm -hmm. You look pretty comfortable. Hey, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Thanks. <laughs> Where's my pants? Where are my pants? Well, I am just gonna quickly set up here. Um, looks like rain is coming they our camps are the the campsite main parts down there so I'm up on a little rocky ledge it's not the most ideal spot Ooh, that was a rumble right yeah. oh geez yeah I think we're gonna get a little it's gonna be scattered all day today so we're definitely having more weather coming so I'm gonna try to set up rather quick but I gotta this, this is all rock so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my stakes in so I'm gonna have to use rocks and tie ropes to them so yeah, I'm gonna set up pretty swiftly here because I don't want to have a bunch of soaked stuff. Who's got Funky Town stuck in their head? Lifeguard Monty, to the rescue. Lifeguard Monty. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Lifeguard Monty, to the rescue. 
Yeah, I've, the the metal one. I bet people would. You could, in the winter time, you could do that. Build like a nice ramp. Yeah. And then just. <laughs> that'd be fun. Yeah, it would be. Monty, are you wet? Talking about how this was the exact weather when this guy got me to go skydiving. <laughs> yeah. Big big clouds in the sky. Yeah. And little pockets of nothing. Yeah. I don't know if I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty intense. It was awesome, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey, look, you're taller than me for once. Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you, though? I'm like six four and a half, six no, five. No, you're more than that. Cause I'm six four and a half. Mm. We're close. It's very close. Yeah. You're yeah. still. You're still. Uh, don't cheat. <laughs> We're close. We're close. Yeah. Oh, so I'm not sure what video I mentioned this in, but I mentioned that I'm try try this new stuff out. Uh, it's called VetBud. It's like a surgical super glue. And I've been using it for my splits and stuff, and it works quite well. And my dad here, he's got a big old split in his toe that's been hurting like crazy. And we're gonna try this stuff out on it. But anyways, this stuff works wonders. I keep it in my first aid kit now, and he's gonna get to see if he likes it or not. It's really thin, so I like to put on a couple drops and let it dry, and then do another couple drops. But the only two beefs I have with it is that it's super expensive. It's $25 for this teeny tiny little three milliliter bottle. And the the seal on the lid, once you use it, is not very good. So my bottle is already like broken open from just slight squishing and like half of it leaked out. But I'm for, fortunate I was still able to use it. Oh boy, look at that. You can see that it looks like it's coming right for us. We got, you can see the rain over on the horizon there. It was just raining pretty good for a minute there. We are just chillaxing. How you enjoying your trip so far? Yeah. Good. You want to peek at the maps of the rest of this lake? Yeah. I feel like it just stops. <laughs> no, I, you can look at it. It's gonna start pouring. Oh no, I thought it was a lake. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What are you doing, Monty? Did Dad, did my dad put his map on your head? Yeah, you're a good Protecting boy. Protecting you from the rain. That's a good boy. Sun's back out. We're just chilling. Had a little bit of a mishap. <laughs> My dad's chair broke, and uh, so we're down a chair. So I've got we put up another tarp here. So we've got a super super rain protection. Then we've got the hammock hung up. So we're still all sitting and resting our backs at least. You betcha. You Jeez. betcha. Don't you know? Yeah. Oh hey, look. There's some clouds over there. That's what they are, dear. You can tell it's a cloud because of the way that it is. Oh! Oh, oh this way, Monty. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, oh no, this way, Monty. Oh, it's time for fishing. Hi, Monty. All right. You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, 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 okay. All right, let's, let's go fishing. Monty! Just jump, Come on, Come on and jump, Just jump, I'm gonna try my tri swivel thing. What I'm gonna do is take, I've made two liters with a couple of swivels. I got one longer, one shorter. Put a spoon off the one end and a two ounce jig as a weight on the bottom end. We're going with three quarter ounce watermelon. And this behemoth here, two ounce jig. I don't wanna lose it. And, all right, we're going. 
Now I just need to slowly let out line and uh, get it down there. We're not gonna fish for long because uh, we wanna go see the sunset. I'm only gonna troll for like a half hour 45 here and then we're all gonna head back and catch the sunset. That's unfortunate. Yes. Oh, I got it free. Oh, I thought it was gone for sure. The biggest fish of your life? I don't know what the hell it was. Was it just ripping out line? It was probably a monster pike. Oh, and then you lost it? Oh, you were reeling to it? Oh, yeah, that was probably a big old pike. Oh, dang. We are uh, just sitting on this rock bluff up here, getting ready to watch the sunset. We've got a pretty epic view, and we're going to make our dinner up here. Oh, Monty's chilling. I know you can't really see me, but we got a fire going. Uh, we're crossing up some firewood. And there is a fresh hatch of mosquitoes here. As soon as the sun completely set up there on that bluff, they just started to swarm us up there. We're just like, what the heck? It's like windy on a rock, open rock. We came down here and it's just a cloud. It's crazy. Oh, we are just making food. The mosquitoes. You wouldn't believe how bad they are in this breeze. It's crazy. It has to be a fresh hatch. Insane. They're like, we. Disgusting. my dad put DEET all over his face. I put this uh, eucalyptus lotion and we've got permethrin spray clothes and they just don't care about any of it. It's just a cloud. Did if, you say the wind gusts too? Like it's just Yeah, it's and it's, we're in the, like, the wind is just blowing straight off the lake and they're just, they don't care. They're just swarming and like, it's weird. Like you go and you get pockets. So like right here, there's none, not a single mosquito. But I go right there, and it's a cloud. It's crazy. Disgusting. Disgusting. I was just going to check my food, and I about stepped on this little teeny little bunny rabbit. Just randomly appeared at camp. <laughs> it was it was literally right there, sitting on my little sleeping pad. 
and I stepped over it and this little thing was there. That's a teeny little bunny. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's see if Mont now Monty's gentle. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Hi, guy. Hi. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. He's not hurt, is he? No, I don't think so. Oh, oh Monty. Oh, Monty. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's a Monty, 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 Monty. Monty. Hey, Monty. Monty. Hey, Monty. Monty. Hey, Monty. Don't worry, Monty wasn't attacking it or anything. Monty's very gentle. He was just trying to sniff it, and when Monty was excitedly sniffing it, it just running, so Monty was like trying to sniff it harder. Monty, you just, there's a little bunny. I just wanted you to smell it and not get excited and chase it. Dang it, Monty. Might be a little soapy there. Oops. Soapy. Soapy dinner. Got Monty's little pumpkin-y gooey slop. Then we've got my semi-soupy noodly thing. A little, little extra, a little extra on the soupy. But you know what? I like it soupy. I like a soup. I got soupy life. I'm all about that soupy life. Okay, go ahead. Monty ain't waiting. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, that's hot. Hmm. This one ain't bad. It's a noodles and chicken. Just tastes like chicken noodle soup with noodles. It's funny, um, they're using my backup tent or my older tent that got ripped up. Josh actually had it repaired, or he got it repaired, and uh, Monty's getting all confused because it's the exact same tent, so every time they start getting ready for bed and getting there, he's just creeping up to them, <laughs> trying to get in their tent. But yeah, everyone's getting ready for bed. I'm just finishing up here, and then I'm crawling and passing out. Alright, come here. That's the spirit, Monty. So far, we've had a pretty great trip. You know, we got that super late start. It's pretty nice the first day. But uh, yesterday, had a big old fish fry, caught some walleye. Another beautiful day today. We got a little bit of rain, some storms, beautiful sunset. No fish today. Josh had that nice big one on, but uh, yeah, so far pretty good eating. Done a few firsts, you know, no live bait. <laughs> Bringing the hammock out, who am I? We're even gonna stay at a site for three nights. I don't think I've ever camped at the same campsite for three nights. So, yeah, the plan for tomorrow is to fish, fish, fish. Oh, Monty, oh, there you go, there you go. I think we're gonna do a lot of fishing tomorrow and every other day, but anyways, we didn't really, we got to fish for like, what, 20 minutes today? But we've been sleeping in and taking it easy. It's been a great trip so far, so I'm gonna pass out now and uh, cut it up next to this big fuzzy teddy bear. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. <laughs> the Monte Accordion. Good night. It was here that the audio stopped working suddenly for quite a while, so I will do my best to recreate the conversations in the exact voices and the truth of what was said. Monty, here, is aggressively laying all over my stuff and making it difficult for me to sleep. Monty Stinky, uh, wow. Ooh,
my poop's gonna be nasty. Ugh. Oh, no. Please don't do this. Why? Oh, come on. No. I don't want to do this. Stop it. I'm gonna take a picture of you, Matt. Oh, yeah, that's a nice picture. I, oh, that's a nice picture right there. Get the stick, Monty. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Okay. This is my spot. You can't have it. And it's too bad if you want it. Click. The Michael is a peculiar creature. We are watching closely to see what the Michael will be making for breakfast. I'm going to be making some pie! <laughs> nom 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 nom. Soupy. I'm jumping in, you can't stop me! Hey, hey! I get back here! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, we're just sitting here. I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and we're gonna go out fishing, okay? It's gonna be fun. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, what the heck? Oh, this feels good, yeah. Hey, who's there? Hey, what are you looking at? What are you doing? They're heading off to do some fishing for some walleyes. Monty, me and you are going for Larry, okay? You ready to go out there, big boy? You ready? Today for fishing, I'm going to do the same thing I did for Lake Trout yesterday, except I'm going to use the Chartreuse Slayer off the back and, and on this eight pound test, I'm using the same jig, but a three ounce version. That's right, three ounces to pull this thing down so it should be as deep as I want. So I need to get, all right, it's floating. And that's gonna pull it right down with that three ounce. So like I said, I've got 10 pound braid on there, eight pound fluorocarbon, big old leader. We're gonna see if I can get a fish with it. Now, if I get a fish, even a small fish is gonna make this whole rig pull tough and it's gonna rip out drag so if I get a decent sized fish I could lose the whole thing in all my line but that is a risk I'm willing to take you can see my line I'm paddling kind of fast right now into the wind it's still angled pretty far down so I don't have to let out a ton of line to get deep like I normally do Monty just got up, looked, saw that we were still in the middle of a lake, and then just laid back down and gave a big old groan. <laughs> oh, what a character. I just found a big old rock hump in the middle of the lake. I'm gonna try jigging off it with a two ounce jig. Got one snag. No bites anywhere so far doing either thing, but I'm going back to Tron. I've got a nice drop off. There's a hundred foot hole, and it looks like a steep drop off right near a point over here. And we're gonna let this thing back down pretty deep, 30, 40 feet, and get as close to this drop out I can without snagging. And we'll see. <laughs> see that? That means fish on. <laughs> and it's gone. Oh. <clears throat> well, it works. Rather than paddle hard and set the hook, 
I just turned on the camera. That had to be a Larry. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Either this just feels heavier than usual or there's a still fish on here. It kind of just feels heavier. There might still be a fish on here. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. There was a fish on it the whole time. Okay, so it uh it hit it and then the weight of the lure made it look like it wasn't fighting. <laughs> it was on there the whole time. <laughs> well, my brother wanted a lake trout no matter what. And so we're keeping this one. All right, nice little eater trout. Awesome. I'm just super happy that my little rig worked. Normally I'm all about the pike and bass, but this trip I've caught walleye and lake trout. And that's it. So far, that's crazy. Oh no. Oh, I thought it was a fish. We're just snagging bottom. We got a snag. No. No. Bye bye three ounce jig. You caught me a lake trout. You did good. You caught me Larry. Rest in peace. Oh, Monty! Did you hear the story about the dog park and the treat? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I've heard that one before. So what? I'm trying to sleep here. Meat! So my dad caught a pike. How big was your pike? About 23. 23? My brother hasn't got a bite yet, but my dad gets it's getting little nibbles near this tree over here. And I lost three jig or three like or uh, leeches. Leeches. So I'm putting a little fake minnow, a little piece of one to see if we got some like perch or something. I'm just curious how shallow does it get? Something. A crappie, or no, a rock bass. It's got a big old sore on its side. I can't see. Ooh. It's got a big jelly sore. How big is it? Pretty small. Let me see. No. I'll put it back. All right. Whee! Goodbye. Another little rock bass. We're going to keep them. We're going to we're going to see if we can catch some of these. Fry them up. Oh, there we go. I'm getting a nibble. Oh, 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 there we go. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was too small. I think this is the first time I've ever caught panfish here. Okay, we're just going to, I'm just gonna troll my way back to camp. And uh, I think we're heading back. We're gonna process up some firewood and get a fire going relax for the evening and uh save the fishing for tomorrow i don't even think i need these sunglasses oh it's still oh i've had them on for so long it's still kind of bright ah Yep. What the heck? Or wait, no, it's not. What the heck? No, I hit my button. 
My drag went loose. Oh, you're probably on the bottom. No, I hit... There was something on here, and then I hit my button and on accident. There could still be something on here. Ooh, I think there is. I can't tell anymore. There's something on here. Oh yeah. Oh, there's something. Oh yeah. What is it though? Walleye or lake trout, come on. I bet it's lake trout. Ooh. Simmer down. Ooh, it's staying down, whatever it is. Like a pike. Oh! I missed with the net and it was a lake trout. It was right there, I just missed. How big was it? It was a good size eater. No! I it oh no! Oh, no! 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 Why did that happen? It was right. It touched the boat, and I hit it bad with the net, and it was barely. It was just barely hooked on. Well, definitely can't say that's the first time I've lost a uh, lake trout in my net. <laughs> I waited all day for you, Larry. I've waited all day for you. That was my first cat. <sighs> yep. The Joshua is also a peculiar creature. He peeks his head out Tell us something important. Meat! But. Oh no, they found us! Oh no! Oh no! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Run away! Run away! I'm rocking my son in a hammock. I'm rocking my son in a hammock. I'm gonna rock him to sleep like a baby. Oh yeah. Dad, I know you think you look cool sitting on this rock overlooking the lake eating dinner, but you don't. Okay? You don't. Montreal Bay! <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! What are you doing to me? Don't do that! Stop it! Stop it! Well, I'm going to pass out to get up in the morning for some fishing, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Iguana! Hey, Wilderness. Hey, how's it going? Click. Psh. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Soupy. Dad. Yeah. Have you ever used a bidet? Yeah. Yeah, you like them? They're alright. And we're off. Monty! Oh, he's squeaking already. He's squeaking. Okie dokes. 
the portage to the next lake that we are adventuring to today, going for a walleye fish fry tonight, is right up ahead. So, let's get this thing taken care of and get to fishing. You know what I'm saying? Okie dokes. All right, first things first, we need to get out into the main part of the lake, see what we're dealing with, what kind of lake we got. We know there's walleye in here, we know there's pike in here, and we just saw some perch, so we know there's perch in here. We've gotta assess the situation, and then fish the situation. gonna try the old slip barber on the leech set about 10 feet down out from shore because it's rather sunny today so we're gonna first see about 20 feet out from shore and that's set too deep so we are gonna shell that up a hair or maybe cast that a little bit further all right, let's do that. Let's just go out a little bit further. A little shallower. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a little bait fish right here. Yeah. Oh, it's still, it's rather shallow back here. I got something. No, yeah. yeah. What is it? I can't, I think it's a pike. Oh yeah. There we go. Well, you did it. I got a fish. Thought I had a snag. There we go, nice little pike. Let's let this guy go. Still not 10 feet deep. All right, we got it. We're going to troll the other side. I was hopeful. We we're gonna keep this guy because we're going for a fish fry tonight and I'd prefer not to keep pike, but pike are still delicious and we wanna have a nice fish fry tonight. So we're keeping this guy. I have another fish on it. I didn't even realize it. Oh, it's a little pike. Another little pike. <laughs> this one's too small. Woo, goodbye. I thought it was swimming funny right off the bat. As soon as I said it, so I thought it was hitting bottom, so I decided to reel it in, and there was a fish on there. All right, I got my slip bobber set to 10 feet. There's a little channel here. I'm out of the wind. No other bites. Let's see if I can reach bottom. Please reach bottom, or just at least be able to stand, I mean. There we go, nice. It's a nice drop off then. What do we got this time? I bet it's a pike. 
I bet it's a pike. Looks like a pike. Yep, it's pike. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> Lots of pike in here. That's number four for the day. Okay, my brother came up here. Uh, we had a little snack break. He's gonna go fish near those rock cliffs. And my dad was just fishing over on the shore. I can't see where he's at, so I'm gonna go get him, see if he wants to come up this way. I'm gonna troll my way back. <laughs> I, I made it think I got a fish. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got you good. Oh no, my hat! How'd you get the line? I creepily followed you until I could see it sticking out of the water. Come over here, you little wet beaver, with your beaver stick. Do you want me to throw it again? Okay, that's a yes. Go ahead, Monty. You're getting stuff wet. All right, ready? Ready for some critter? I'm sitting here just whistling away. What? I got a fish. I think I just heard them do the loon call. It's probably another pike. That seems to be all we're catching today. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. There we go. There we go. Yeah? You think that's a wall mounter or a pan fryer? Fryer. Fryer, yeah. So we just caught a bunch of pike. All of us caught pike, 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 pike. So uh, we've got some for dinner. We are just gonna head back, take a breather, maybe do some swimming back at camp. And then I think I'm gonna go trolling for some lake trout. I think one lake trout, maybe two. I'm not sure if Josh got any pike or not that he kept. I know he caught some. But anyways, we're heading back to camp and I just farted and it stinks.
after Sidney had camped for a while, I was a little restless and decided to go out fishing. I just set my line, and I think, no way. I just went out here to fish. There's no way I got a fish. I think I got a fish already. Ooh, it is windy. I haven't been out in an empty boat like this in a long time. Ooh, there's definitely a fish on here. I'm going for some lake trout. If I got a Larry on here already, I just set the line. This would be crazy. Oh! Ooh, it's pulling. Oh, now it's pulling. Lake trout, awesome. All right, there we go. <laughs> We're having a little Larry with our pike, awesome. your boat is when there is no weight on it in these big waves like this when it's coming at your side you know I'm used to Monty and my food bag in here at the minimum but I figured since they're staying at camp might as well go with an empty boat which is just not a good idea because it sure is tippy I am currently on a mission to go get firewood. We're gonna need a good amount of firewood to have a good old fashioned fish fry tonight. SS good times, more like the SS wood times. <laughs> oh, all these sticks are making me itchy. <laughs> all right, I got the firewood back to camp and uh, my dad's up ahead and my brother's trolling right next to me. He's got, we both got chartreuse slayers on. He's got one from like the 1950s. It's all rusty and <laughs> passed down through generations of no caught fish, probably never used. We're going for another lake trout or two. We only got the one. And lake trout is his favorite fish, so he requires more. He won't make it until tomorrow without more lake trout. No. <laughs> I'm literally dying. Literally.
Is it still on? I can't tell. I don't think it is. Maybe. It's on. Really? Yeah, we got a laker on. Do I just keep going? Or yep, just keep going towards... Other than just don't paddle, just like drift. Oh, we got a lake trout on. A lake trout on. We got a Larry on. We got a Larry on. What? He just made a loon call. Oh, he did. Yeah. Ooh, whatever this is, it's staying down. Keeping you there, because I'm floating still. Oh, it's swimming. It's a lake trout. It's not a monster. <laughs> there we go. It's a good eater, though. Meat. All right. Well, I'm only allowed to keep two Lakers per day, so I am going to be heading in. I'm gonna go stop by my dad and see if he caught anything because he did the loon call, the international uh, call for fish on. Loon. Oh, that's a big lake trout. Jesus. <laughs> oh man, did it fight too? <laughs> That's, right over there. that's a pretty big lake trout. <laughs> good job. That's like at least 30 inches, wouldn't you say? I don't know. It's a pretty good one. It's heavy. I got myself a real nice fishy. Josh got the biggest pike. And Josh got the biggest walleye. And my dad got the biggest lake trout. And I got the biggest rock bass. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a really pretty sunset. It's almost as pretty as your outfit. Oh, I'm gonna start this fire one strike. Almost. No. No. Ah, these bugs are getting all over my hands. It's just my legs. Ah, jeez. Ah, get out of here. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, jeez. You, you do this. Stick these bugs. Ah, bugs, bugs, it's just bugs everywhere. Just get my eyes, it's bugs. <laughs> We've got brother Joshua on the batter duty. He's doing a great job. I think my dad's in charge of frying here. He is, the, the fate of Monty is in Joshua's hand. <laughs> he gets to choose. I think Monty is gonna get mostly pike today. You might get a little scrap of layer too. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna need spatula. Yeah? You ready to fry? Pretty close. Might as well start oh. heating up that oil. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Look, look at that bunny. Oh, it's a bunny. There's that baby <laughs> bunny. There's a little bunny. Hi. That's the same bunny from yesterday. Well, it's good to know that Monty didn't terrify him. This is just to show you guys that Monty actually doesn't, he doesn't attack animals he just sniffs them oh, there he is there we go oh hey little guy <laughs> little bunny i'm sorry i stuck monty on you yesterday little guy he'd be fun to just cuddle with <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it almost looks like a chinchilla doesn't it yeah he's a... oh monty monty no maybe monty. it is a chinchilla oh that's a little it's bunny got short ears monty Monty. Monty, Monty, come here. Monty, you stay away. Come here. Monty smells something. They have that instinct, the rabbits, to just stay still. Yeah, Monty's... 
Hey little guy. Monty. Monty, you stay there. Monty, you're gonna scare the bunny. Monty. Monty. Monty, be gentle. This bunny is just like sitting so still. Monty is so close to it. Monty. Monty sees him. Oh, Monty! Hey, Monty! Oh, oh, that Monty! Hey, 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 Monty, 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 Monty! It's okay, it's okay, Monty! Hey, Monty! What's he doing? He's chasing stop, stop, the bunny. Monty. Stop it! No, he's no, 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 Monty! Monty he's, he's not gonna hurt him. Josh has decided to be very generous to the Monty. Those are some hunks of meat. Meat. I just really hope he doesn't throw up in my tent. Uh, that just looks like a wonderful pile of happiness right there, about to be made. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that Larry sizzle. Monty's been searching for the bunny for like 30 minutes. I swear, <laughs> he's just been yeah. roaming around. Long gone, yeah, man. Monty, the bunny's been gone for quite a while. You scared him off. I mean, he's probably hiding on him. Monty can just sense him, but he's just roaming around in the woods. Oh, look at that golden brown, delicious, vicious. And then you got Monty's slop just boiling over here. Look at that beautiful, crispy, oh, delicious fish. We've even got a little lemon platter. Oh yeah. Cheers to fish, let's go. Cheers. cheers. Yeah, oh, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is so crispy. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's delicious. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh. Mm. oh. 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 <laughs> it's so good. It is so good. It's like it's not even greasy. Uh, uh it's like chicken fingers but fish fingers. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Most expensive fish fingers you can get. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, those are all pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hot fire? Yep. Here we gotta prepare Master Monty's. I picked out all the bones, all the pike. Whoa. Right. Fish farts. Monty? Have you been the goodest boy? Do you want a treat? At the dog park? Do you want to go for... He's like, just, 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 just shut up already. Give me the food. All right, Monty, go ahead. Good boy. That's a happy doggy. He got about a half pound of fish right there. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Mm. That's that's all lake trout stuff. Mm -hmm. We've got one more batch of fish to go, and we're 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 I'm I'm slowing down. We're getting there. We're gonna get, we're gonna eat it all. very full that was a big fish fry that's probably the most um, 
glorious fish fry I've ever had. It was delicious. I am very full. And I don't know why. Whoops. On top of all that fish, I ate my potatoes. So I'm stuffed and I'm breathing heavy. I'm hot and bothered. <sighs> yeah. That was another fun day. I caught a bunch of pike, some lake trout. But I am ready to just pass out. I think we're moving camps tomorrow. My stomach's full. So uh, I'm sleepy. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Well, it's time to get up. Mm. Oh, I slept so good last night. Oh, oh, Monty, don't you that. Don't you that. Don't, don't do that. Stinky. Alright, it's time to get up. Let's do it. Beautiful blue skies day. Blue skies. Hey, yeah, Archie. Blue skies. Nothing but blue skies. Blue skies. So, we're going to pack up, make some breakfast, get out of the water, paddle, portage, fish. Let's do it. Biscuits and soupy. much all the way packed up. I'm just gonna finish up my breakfast or get on the water. Are you ready first mate pee poop pick toots? Okay we are off. They're already up ahead of me paddling across. I'm gonna drop a line and troll. So we've got to go across this lake one more time and I want me a big old Larry before we go. Flies and cotton ball clouds. Ball fly. Boost flies. Oh. I think this means fish on. 
Is that what that means? Oh, I, I'm stinking soul. Doesn't feel like a monster. But hey, I'll take it. Oh yeah, what do we got here? I might not even net this one if it's a big old lake trout. We'll see. Cause I'm gonna let it go either way. Ooh, it's staying down. It's a big guy, kinda have to, to get the hook out. Especially in this wind. Ooh, what are ya? What are ya? Oh yeah, it's a nice little lake trout. There we go. Oh, hello Larry. All right, nice little laker. Start the day off right. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. We're gonna try to do a fish cam without bringing him in the boat. That's an even bigger steel. Let's see if he's friendly. Ooh, that's a big one. Look at that, Steve. Ooh. Oh, that's a big spider. Oh jeez. Oh Steve. Oh, they're jumping into the water. Oh, he's on my boat. Oh no. It seems like anytime there's a rock face that looks like this on these waterways, there's some sort of pictographs that it used to be. I was thinking there would be here because I was just like, oh, those are the exact rocks. I always see pictographs. You can see it, there's some kind of figure there and there's some kind of triangle there. It almost looks like a teepee. It's the exact same as all the pictographs I've ever seen in this area. Same coloring, same rock face, so it's definitely something. It's just kind of degraded. This was some kind of, but it's hard to tell what it is, but oh geez. Oh, that's good for the old rods. But this, as you can see there, there's some kind of line. It looks like a triangle, maybe a teepee of some sort or something. But it used to be something. We got some more pictographs over on this wall. Look at it, it's some kind of figure. You can see it. You can see it's some kind of figure. It goes like this, and then there's that there. Something. Can't tell what it is though. It's like some kind of trident or like a bird almost or something. Yes. I don't know if the camera picks it up very well because it's very faint and hard to see, but yeah. Man, these rock faces, any one of them that's got the white and black strikes and their big flat surface, they always have little pictographs.
Okay, it is, we've got two hours, two, two and a half till the sun sets. We are heading out to do some evening fishing. We've been just taking a nap, relaxing, ate some food, just having a good old relaxing day. Nice relaxing trip, you know, all around. So uh, my dad's already out fishing. We're gonna go find him. Um, I'm gonna troll a lure across the lake here. And then I'm gonna try slip bobber and leech probably, go for some walleye, and then when the sun sets, I'm just gonna stick to trolling. Let's catch a fish. came straight out of the water. It looked like a little trout or something. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. I just saw a fish come clear out of the water. It looked like a little trout. Yeah, he, said he had to catch at least a pike. This liar told us he got three nice walleyes over here. Did you catch anything? No. Not a bite? Oh, you want to go see some uh, picture crafts? Are you sure they're picture crafts? Yeah, let's go. Oh no. I got it. Oh, I just farted too. Oh my God, my farts are so squeaky. They're just bubbling out and just squeaking. Yeah, I, I, every time I fart, I'm like, Ugh, I'm trying to chance it. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely chancing the farts. Who? Ha! Huh, don't come near this boat. Five foot radius. Who? <laughs> Called? Tweety oh, no. bird. I guess like six ten. Say it again. Come on, a Reese ran? Something like that. A Reese ran? It was the, the name. It's a Ron Swainson's thrush. Yeah, sounds like a Ron Swainson. Ron Swainson's thrush. It sounds like a person an actor name. An actor name? Ron Swainson. Ron Swainson. <laughs> sounds like somebody. The fish fry is coming out in gas form. Oh, hey, Steve. How's it going? <laughs> oh. Steve.
Steve, can I pet you? Steve, you! <laughs> oh, that's a big spider. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. <laughs> Is it a walleye, huh? Seems like he's got a big walleye on. That's a nice walleye. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. You were eating it? We're eating this. <laughs> you see this pig? I got in the same exact spot I did yesterday. Coming up, there must be a drop off. You want to redeem yourself on the strikes? I'll try it. Wait, you hear that? Ooh, that one definitely sounded wet. Oof. <laughs> Look at that nice seasoned wood. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Can't even get a spark. It's okay. You just keep doing the right thing. You're pressing too hard into the knife. There you go. Good job. I'll take that. Josh's 23 inch walleye ready to be fried. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That was really awesome today. Got my mountain house chicken ali king. And some delicious walleye fillets. It is dinner time.
Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up my dinner here and get ready for bed. Mmm. That's a that's a fish fry fart. Um, yeah, that's that's my Monty. Mount Stinky, come on. Come on over here. Monty. This is Monty. This let's be reasonable. Monty, please, this is mine. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Monty. Okay, that'll work. That'll work, you big fluffy bunny. Oh, that's a good boy. so sneaky. Anyways, another delicious, vicious dinner. Well, that was just like a little hors d'oeuvre or a little appetizer. But uh, yeah, another good day. Another relaxing day. Had some fun. And it's time to pass out. We're going to get up early and get the moving done early before the heat strikes. It's supposed to be 82 and sunny, but the weather's been changing, so we don't really know. But anyways, I'm passing out. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Jeez. Good morning, Archie. We're gonna get up early today. I slept with the rain fly off so I could catch the sunrise. It was real nice. And uh, yeah, let's get up. We're gonna greet the day. Let's do it.
is a beautiful morning. Complete blue skies. Blue skies. Anyway, it's supposed to get really hot and be sunny all day today is what the thingy said way back when. And it seems like it's holding true so far. So, uh, we're going to quickly pack up and get moving. So let's cue coffee and oatmeal sequence. Go. Soupy. Mm. Oh, nice breakfast fart. Mm. Well, I'm some fish up a coffee and oatmeal here. And we're gonna get on that water, get the paddle and pour you the fish in. Oh yeah. And we are off. Porridge oh. oh. fart. Monta Stinky, he's our hero. He's the stinkiest, the stinkiest of heroes. Monta Stinky, you're so stinky. He makes a cloud of stinky and you can't stand it. He was in front of Josh in the portion. and Josh says he could smell his just cloud of stink. He's been doing lots of swimming every day. And in between portages when my dad's waiting, he's just throwing the stick for him, so it's getting nice and stinky. Nice and stinky. He's got the big canoe, 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 big. Oh yeah. Okay, Monty, hoo wee. Another portage bites the dust. We've got like one more. We're hoping to stay at the next lake. Call to him, Dad. Give me your loon call. They might think you're a loon bred with a turkey, but I think you're getting the message across. Hoo wee! I am super glad. We did not have to go that way on this portage. It was like straight up going this way, but we came and we were straight down. 
which is still you have to watch your step. It was pretty slick in some spots with just pine needles. Looks like the beavers put a beaver dam here. Oh yeah. There's the beaver dam. Let's just... He just yanked his boat down his first beaver dam. Well, here. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Yep. All right. Looks like we got the site. <laughs> oh, it's not so bad. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, it feels nice. Oh, hi, Monty! Oh, Monty's first... Ow! Ow! <laughs> Lifeguard Monty to the rescue! Ow! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> he keeps looking at me at the corner of his eye like, you better not do that again! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hi, Monty. You better save him, Monty. Lifeguard Monty to the rescue! Yeah, Monty really hates some horse flies. Oh, save me, Monty! Save me! Oh, thank you, thank you. Lifeguard Monty. Just been chilling at camp. We went swimming like twice already. Haven't even set up or anything. But dad went out fishing. Had some bites. Didn't catch anything. We've just been relaxing for about like four hours now. I feel like, or longer. As you can see, Monty's eating more horse flies or deer flies. They're pretty bad. Okay, so we have had a relaxing day, multiple times of swimming, just chilling. Literally been watching Monty eat horse flies for hours. My dad took a nice 
hammock nap. He passed out. I uh, hammocked, but I never really slept. I was just kind of chilling in the sun, baking. But yeah, now we are out fishing the last couple hours of sunlight. The goal right now is to see who can catch the biggest bass. We've pretty much got, my dad's got the biggest lake trout, Josh got the biggest walleye, I got the biggest rock bass, Josh got the biggest pike. So now one of us needs to catch a bass. There's been no bass caught on this trip. Large or small, it doesn't matter. So I'm slip bobber and leeching. Let's see if we can pick something up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not a big one. There we go. So far, I've got the biggest bass. Hoo ya! Nice little smile. Let's let this guy go. Nice. It's about. What do you got there? Nice large mouth. Oh, not bad. We're getting my dad's first fish release cam. Oh, and that's that's his fish release cam. <laughs> there it goes. Don't stop me now. But don't stop me now. Because I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. I'm like a shooting star running through the sky. Like a tiger. Defying the laws of morality. You know? Where am I? Where are my pants? You're gonna get this guy. I can believe in you. I told you the slip barbers are magic. Now you, you got the goal. Right there, perfect. I got one. You got one? Oh yeah. Oh, he's got one. 20? 20 inches? It's a, it's a, it's a nice looking bass. 20, th these guys with their sizes out here, 20 inches. 30 inch lake trout. What do you got? My dad's got one. He's got his turkey loon call hybrid call. Apparently my dad's got a 25 inch smallie on. I don't know about that size, but we'll see. He hasn't got it in the boat yet, but I, I kind of have to believe him. What do you got here? Oh, it's a piggy. That's a solid 17. Yeah, 17, 18 maybe. Nice. All right, right here, near this tree. Well, it's a good spot, it's a good spot. It was a solid 17, 18. Oh, there's a bite, here we go. Yeah, it's your story, tell it how you want. I missed a 67 and a half inch pike on this spring trip. How do you know? Yeah. I just know it in my heart. Oh, nice. That was like a 36 inch pike. It was just like, it was this long. I'm not even kidding. I had a 72 and a half inch pike on right here near this tree. That was the biggest pike I've ever had on in my life. It was 17. I know in my heart. I'm good at, I'm good at that. No, 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 no. Oop, there, that's a fish. Nice. There we go. Ooh. Oh. Probably the same, same bass. <laughs> Ooh. He's putting on some theatrics for us. Fish can, fish can. Oh, geez. We got ourselves a big old bobby. Ooh. 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 Oh, that's a nice bass right there. I tell you what. That's a good bobby. Oh, now that's a piggy. Come check this one out. <laughs> oh, now that's a pig. <laughs> oh, it's about the, it's 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 definitely bigger than yours, but <laughs> Oh, that's a chunky guy. Look at that thing. Let's let this guy go. There we go. Oh, dang it. There we go. 
Ooh, that's a decent one. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. there we go. <laughs> there we go. Nice bobby bass. <laughs> Big old piggy. Oh, look at that chunky guy right there. Oh, yeah. Nice bobby bass. Awesome. Okay, sun's about to set. I think I'm gonna take a, just a couple more casts here. Um, and then I'm gonna head in for our last night and get some firewood, cause it's looking like, I don't think, I think it's gonna be covered by clouds, but it still might glow good. So, I'm just gonna take a few more casts here, then we're gonna head back. I only have one memory of that. It's when you were snoring so loud on a camping trip that I couldn't sleep and I forgot earplugs and I had to turn it to white noise. You know how long ago that was? White noise you know in my ear. Do you know how long ago that between was? Between a pillow. That was five years ago. Same batteries. Same batteries? Same batteries. No. I swear to God. Jesus. <laughs> I haven't changed batteries since I've owned this. <laughs> That's crazy. I know. Oh no. How is it out of 10 for solidity? One being just water. I'd say it's about a two and a half. <laughs> two and a half, oh boy. Oh, look at it, it's even getting better. I gotta go take more pictures. You just oh. Oh. Whoa. oh man I didn't hold it straight there you go I think it's time for the bug net. So I've got one question for you guys. Hmm. Do you know James? James? Yeah. You know James? My brother? Yeah, James. Yeah. Did you ever make you his famous dish? What dish? His famous rice pudding. James? You never had James rice pudding. James rice pudding. Where'd you get it? James? James made it. It's James Rice Pudding. Come on, you never heard of James Rice Pudding? It's world famous. Do you guys want it hot or cold? Warm. You want it warm? Yeah, definitely warm. All right. We're having James Rice Pudding tonight. The camera's not even doing justice to the swarm that's around. You can only see a few. Oh, look. Look over. Yeah, Look at me him, now. That picks them up a little bit better. Holy cow. Yeah, they're, they're pretty rough. You gotta put on the bug stuff, and you gotta just have long sleeves. Oh, there we go. That's 
now you can see the what's actually happening and, all around us and that's just one little spot yeah <laughs> that's the it's, whole sky it's all over <laughs> they're Jeez. pretty bad for dinner tonight monty is having his monty's mangled mush all right dad what are you having for dinner I'm having this is um beef stew with mashed potatoes and a little montreal on top mm, yummy all right josh what are you having i am having a spicy southwest skillet with some ramen and a little bit of Montreal as well. Ooh. And I am having a rice and chicken mixture here, extra soupy, and I was going to put a ramen that Josh gave me in it, but I can't fit it. Well, I could fit some. Oh man, it, it's gonna fit. Not after it swells. <laughs> to the brim. Yeah. To the brim. And of course, after we're all done stuffing that down, We've got a healthy serving of James Rice Pudding. Mm -hmm. Monty has been enjoying laying under this log, so this might as well be breakfast in bed. There you go, buddy. Look at this mosquito. Good boy, Monty. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Eat your dinner. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Eat it, yeah. Mm. Let's, let's see what we got here. Fruity. Not bad. Oh. Oh, Lord. Mm. Mm. A little dry. A little dry, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say it's like traditional rice pudding. It's James rice pudding. Well, James... <laughs> needs... <laughs> <laughs> James needs a few tips. Yes. I wish it was more creamy. Mm-hmm. More like milky. I feel like I'm just eating raisin flavored rice. <laughs> that's exactly what I it think is. that's what you are. It's cooked rice with <laughs> raisins in it. It tastes good. Though. Essence of cinnamon. Okay, well. Another fun day today. Um, it's been a fun trip so far. Past few days. A lot of chilling. We did some moving today. Josh caught a nice walleye. Yeah, the past few days have been pretty great. Doing a lot of chilling. This is a definitely different pace than I'm used to, and I'm loving it. You know, I, I like my hard work, hard move days and trips. And then this is something I haven't done in a long time, which is just pick a campsite, stay there for the most part. Not a lot of moving, not a lot of crazy portaging. And it's been great. Just I got to spend a lot of time in the hammock, caught a lot of sun, and yeah really relaxing but yeah it's been a great few days nice sunsets life so full james rice pudding really did me in but yeah we finally caught some bass i think uh, i'm gonna start bringing more uh leeches because you know the fake leeches are great but live leeches are better <laughs> they're really nice so we're gonna get up early and uh we're skedaddling out of here so on that note, I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. sleeping but it is time to get up now and start packing for the final time oh yeah all right I'm gonna pack up the tent here and we're gonna swiftly pack up it was raining a little bit it's not raining anymore so Let's do it. Good morning, dear stinky butt. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yes, yes it is. Oh, it's a beautiful morning out there. Well, anyways, how's my hat here? So no coffee, no oatmeal this morning? 
No breakfast. We have got our eye on a bigger prize. So what I'm going to do is since it, well, it doesn't look like it's going to rain anymore. It was supposed to be raining this morning. Well, raining today. It rained a little last night, but anyways. Oh, so we're going to quickly get packed up and get in the water and paddle and forage and head on our way home. So let's do it. Okay, and we are off for the day. For the final time. I don't know if this picks it up, but there's an eagle perched up in this tree right here. Big ol' eagle. Wait, no, is it? It's this tree right here. Yeah, right here, there's a big ol' eagle sitting in that tree. Only one portage remains in the week-long Father Sons Boundary Waters trip. never leave you so don't worry Monty your, your little cries they're so sad sounding all right come over here Monty right here Monty right here come on we'd never leave you go on, get in get in the back no Monty get in your spot Monty your first mate's position no not here there you go there you go guy good job good jump all right this is it the final paddle big lake to cross pretty breezy let's do this whoa Monty ho whoa, whoa I feel like if one million dollars and one billion dollars had a baby and that baby looked lived a long happy life and it met another baby that was also a child of a million and trillion dollars or whatever and they grew up and they were super happy and they had a baby. I'm that baby. I'm that happy baby right now because I was so sweaty on that portage and I needed to jump and I just flopped into the water instantly just as soon as I got done. It's so muggy. Oh, I just feel like a million bucks right now or whatever that baby would be. That's what I feel like.
feel like you've been sleeping on the ground for a week? Yep. Yeah? Alrighty, we've just got a short paddle to get back to the car and then our trip will be complete. It's been an awesome week. We caught lots of fish, didn't see any moose, ate very delicious, had a bunch of fish fries, two big fish fries, one, one doesn't count, but definitely caught lots of Larry's, Walters, Peters, Bobby's, got them all. We got, we got the whole, the whole smorgasbord of uh, fish. But uh, my dad and brother, they both had a blast. They loved it out here. I think they'll want to do it again someday. And uh, yeah, did lots of swimming and uh, all around good trip. The bugs were a little bad, but anyways, we just got a little bit more to go and we're gonna be back at the car. So as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys at the next video. Good job, Monty. <laughs> well, we had one tip over. Well, nothing really. I don't know if that's something. <laughs> Monty, <laughs> no. I'm gonna get my other pole. Here, get my blue bag out. No. Well, <laughs> I've never flipped before, but Monty just did it. Oh, I have to get my other pole. Well, that's great. That's just good job, Monty. <laughs> Thanks, Monty. This is how you should finish every trip. <laughs> well, at least I know what happens now if I flip my boat. Monty swims out and I'll lose a pole. I only lost a pole. You got it back though, right? Yeah, I went and got it back. I'm just a little wet for my for our eight hour drive. <laughs> Good thing I put on those clean clothes and I got my fresh pair of socks right here. <laughs> Well, this will just go to show you that no trip is over until you're out of the boat and in the car because I was five feet away from the dock when that happened. <laughs> well, if that wasn't good enough, uh, we got a flat and uh, my spare tire's kind of rusted on, so I'm just coating it with some WD-40 and banging off the little spinny thing and hopefully we can get this thing on here and get moving eventually. The mechanism was too rusted on so we couldn't get the tire off. Luckily, some people had a little compressor that they let us borrow because it's a slow leak it was it was it was too low to ride but yeah we're just we're surviving monty do you know what time it is do you know what time it is monty is it time to be hand fed a bacon cheeseburger yes why oh, yes it is Oh, that's a good boy right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want some more? You want some more? There, it's just... Here, you can just have it all, Monty. Okay. All right. Making the mess. There you go. Good job. Good job, Monty. Oh, you got a burger patty down there. Good boy.